When you're choosing a rodent removal service for your restaurant, be sure they understand the importance of discretion. Hi, my name is James with Animals in the Attic Restaurant Division, and we understand how important discretion is for you. Keep watching and learn more. So you saw a rat in your restaurant, and you're wondering how long does it take to go from one rat to an infestation? You're already there. You have to treat it as though it's an infestation right from the second you have one sign, whether it be a chew hole in a bag of flour or whether you see a dropping or actually see a rat. You're there. React accordingly. Clean house, get traps set, and have someone help you search outside for their actual entry point. behind and underneath your oven can provide a great food source for rats. You've got to keep it clean every single day. When you have a rodent problem in your restaurant, staffing is a key component. Not only are they going to help you keep the place cleaner, but you also have to identify key employees to directly help you with trapping and removal of the traps. You don't want to leave that to just anyone. Lots of people go home and talk about what's going on in their jobs and rats would be a hot topic. So avoid anybody who may be disgruntled or new and stick with the staff members who will be discreet and that you trust. We all know you clean the oil in your fryer but if you've taken a look on the outside, grease typically builds up on the outside of those and provides a great food source for rats. Make sure you scrape it down and clean it every day. You know you have a rodent problem in your restaurant. You've got to take action before your customers find out. Call or text us at the number below and we'll help you take care of business.